Hello, and welcome to my very first Let's Play series on Factorio. Welcome back. All right, as we look at our map here and uh, look at what we did in the last episode, we brought our bus down further to the south and we put in our science. We, we've replaced our science. This is back to what we had. I built a little small factory to build uh, some stone bricks uh, over here in the copper area because I'm not using all the copper area right now. The stone and the coal over here are still being depleted. The iron is still being depleted. So the, those will eventually clear out and be gone. We're working on getting that in there. So there's just a few resources left on that. Um, down under 10,000 on the coal. So pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we've got the... Uh, we brought the iron up and filtered it into the iron line. And uh, as with priority, we brought the uh, copper up and brought it into the copper lines just running it on through the copper um the stone is being run up and and put onto the bus so just kind of filtering it up and around as well um and then of course the coal is is slowly making its way up to our power plant but we're going to get started here today with some of the blueprints that we have uh, and we've re we've got these blueprints here and i've already got a place prepped here that i want to put these things and we're going to stamp this blueprint down right here and then we're going to grab a hmm, that copper is just really in the way. I'd like to put all three of these things here together, but I'm not going to be able to do that. So let's put the second blueprint here. So one of the they'll we'll make sure this doesn't we'll line it up and move it up. There we go. Eventually the copper will be out of the way. That's like, I almost could put this blueprint down to the south only got the one item but yeah it just gets over into that copper field that copper field is just positioned in a bad location so we will bring this in here i think we'll move it up a little bit so it won't go there let's go over here and take a look at what we have where's this thing sitting at I might be able to get it in there if I move that, and I might be able to get this thing further to the south. But I'm certainly not going to be able to get my next blueprint in on the south part of that until the copper is gone. So I think we just continue to do the copper. I just noticed the blinking coal icon down there, indicating that my coal is low. I have a circuit on that, monitoring that coal patch. So let's bring this back up here, and we'll put this in... Uh, we'll put the radar up here. Maybe put it in up here. Yeah, we'll put it in up there. All right. It's out of the way for now. Very good. And let's go ahead and get my next... Um, let's see. I still think... Let's see if we can fit this in here a little bit. I want to fit it between these poles down here. Yeah, I can get it in here now. We between here. We'll stamp that in there. Now the next blueprint down between the next poles where I would like to put it, I can't, I'm not going to be able to do it. But that'll work. That's out there for a reason. There's, we're going to add other things in as we in, unlock other abilities. And basically the items are grouped by the resources that you need to build them. And then this is the third blueprint. And as you can see, it's just not going to go. Um, and I really want it to be there. But it's not going to fit there. I'm, I'm kind of Almost wishing I had built all this stuff on the other side of the mall. I haven't built anything yet, just stamping down blueprints. But, eh, we'll just go over to the other side of the mall. We won't put everything on one side. So we've got those two down. Let's go slap the other blueprint down over here. I could put all three of them in on this side. This is something I'm only just now realizing. But I don't think I'll do that. So as I bring this thing across over to here... Let's see. Right there is lined up. And try, there we go. It turned the right way. Put that in there. Okay, so that will be a marker for where to put down the item. And I'm going to verify that this is... Oh, the right line. Uh, 
bring it across here making sure I don't mess that up yep it's right very good all right with that we can bring down our third blueprint that we're going to make in this episode and let's see that is not the blueprint all right there we go there's the blueprint we want we rotate it around flip it around and we can stamp it in right there this will create the items that we need here there we go everything will work right there just just great okay with that in place then we have the ability we have everything that we want to do for this episode kind of laid out and you can see that we're going to need circuits on the top we're going to need iron on the others the iron is right here we can bring the iron in and bring this right over here and run that down right there so that is my iron now I, you know i would typically split that and i will split that so that it'll actually bring in other resources there before i'm done but i've got the circuits on top of that that need to come across and let's see there's my iron and here's the top belt so let's let's just go down through here and get my belts in go ahead and get that in there get that in there get the splitters in here now that'll split the other item out and then that's let's see what other splitters i have down through here just stamp in all the splitters since i have that on my cursor there we go and we'll bring some more belts down through here connect the belts in down through here rotate that around that's going to go underground and then i'm too far away all right we'll bring that in there we got this belt here we got to return around to reverse it there we go Come again and just get off the belt all right there we go this comes back across through here all that's connected and then we'll bring this down through here so getting the belts in here and bringing down this will be bringing a lot of these resources that we use rotate that and bring it one more it looks like i can't get the last one there we go then we got that coming out of there now let's grab the underground belts and start putting underground belts in there we go rotate that and go to there get off the belt put that there We've got these that come down the middle we'll get those here in a minute starting on the other end and just drag them all the way down through there let's get some of these belts up here this would be where the iron comes across here to make the gears. We need a good bit of gears for this build. You can see we've got 12 of the gears in here. Now we'll bring these items down and we can just run down through here with our mouse cursor held down. Drop these in. There's one more out there. There we go. Let's do it the other direction as well. It makes it easier. Start with the alignment. Otherwise I end up getting them aligned backwards. There's got a way to be a way to flip the rotation correctly. I haven't figured out what it is. I, I've seen the rotate, but the uh, there's, there's got to be a secondary rotate. All right, we stamp in these factories. Get off the belt so that it doesn't move me while I'm doing something. I just noticed an underground belt there that I missed. All right, we'll put that in. Filling in all the little ghosts. We've got the belts. The in sort of the filters, the belts again, and underground belts. Some more. Oops, that was a mistake. There we go. Did I get a little too far? Now we'll go back down to here to the factories and st stamp in the gear factories. A whole bunch of gears being made. Oh, and I stamped one in the wrong place. I didn't want to do that. And I've got some belts here that are wrong. Or missing, I should say. Okay. All right. Get that in there correctly. All right. Let's see. Power poles. We'll go ahead and do the power poles. Oh, see the belt just threw me off as I ran across it. It moved me. And of course, it stamped in where I didn't want it. All right. Let's get that back in there and let's get the all right we get that in there yeah. 
All right, we'll do it this way. That way I'm not dragging across when I run across a belt. This throws my alignment off. I did notice in looking at the technology tree that there is a mod that you can get that gives you belt immunity. And then basically the belts won't move you. I'm kind of looking forward to having that. I'm always running across the belts and it moving me from the intended thing. Now we're going to stamp in our boxes and all the different places we have boxes. And we've got a lot of them. Because this is a manufacturing hub here and where we're building a bunch of things. So we'll come down through here and put our boxes in here that will store our component factory components. All right, that should be all of the boxes. I'm not putting any of the gears into boxes. The gears go on the belts. So we've got the belts, we've got the power poles, we've got the buildings. Let's fix this building. Right down here and fix that. There we go. I gotta put the inserter back. There we go. Now we're now we do the inserters. Got a lot of inserters coming there. Then we're gonna output there, output there, output there. That one's already been done. So those two rotate these around these two. Then let's see, we'll pull resources in from there. And then rotate this around and bring in resources on this side for these I'm using two inserters to bring the resources in all right there we go rotate these there's that and then i've got one more set of these fast inserters here for that i need and then now then now we're to the inserters that are going to be making our other items we've got our belts being made We've got to, it won't be made until they come across there. Let's see. Belts. Yeah, I need to rotate that like that. Rotate that again like that. All right. I've got all of the blue belts there, it looks like. Now I've still got a belt down there. Let's get the red belts, though. All right. Pulling belts over to there. Pulling belts over to there. Oh, it, gets, uh, it gets everything there. I would come down here and get all of these. That comes out into a box. That comes out into this. That goes into there. Just That's a straight line shot on all of those. All right. And then, do I have to do anything with my wire that was part of my blueprint? Or is it... Oh, if I do that, it takes it back off. Okay. Well, that's not what I want. All right. Well, the circuit's still there. I don't guess I have to do anything for the wire. Let's continue hooking things up. That comes in there. That's in there. That's in there. All right. That should be everything. But I do need these red ones up here to pick up my green circuits. There we go. All right. Then we come over here. We've got a couple more red items over here. We'll grab. And then it looks like everything else is blues. So we used a lot of blue inserters on this particular blueprint. Um, part of that was the uh, we want we do want this stuff. We use a lot of these resources, especially the inserters and the belts. So we want to be making them efficiently. Um, all right, let's see, grab these two items. Bring that out. I just want to get the one on the other side. That rotates around. That gets that. far away we go let's see I need a flashing light where I'm missing these things Yo, what's what let's see bring that around rotate that let's see that comes over there this comes into here that's an output that's an input that is an output that is an input. Look at that. Okay. Now, do I have one more here? There we go. Anything missing? I don't see anything. Yeah, I do. One right here. All right. That's right in the middle. All right. I'm just checking right now to make sure I didn't miss any inserters. Doesn't look like I did. Not 
seeing anything that's missing. Checking everything. We've got everything in here. We can get this running. Yep, everything seems to be ready to go. So we'll want to put a red item goes across here. Uh, that's running the wrong direction, but we'll, uh, I could have just rotated that uh, instead of deleting it. Too late now. There we go. And that right there is going to also be iron. So what I want to do is just bring this iron down through here. And pretty much just turn it and run it in there like that. Okay. So I've got the iron. I'm going to go ahead and run the iron in there. I've got to go get my... Uh, let's get the rest of the iron down through here and get my iron reestablished. Oh, get up there. Alright, there we go. I do need to put splitters in here and split that. We'll deal with that in a minute. Let's go get my circuit boards. Well, maybe not. I'm going to need iron on the other side over there. Need lots of things on that other side. Iron, steel, copper. Circuit boards. Alright, let's put the inserter, the, the, the splitter in here. Bring that down through here. I will want to jump that. Good. Okay. Uh, cut that back a little bit. We want to do a... Hmm. I think that needs to be right there. Yeah, that's correct. That needs to be balanced there. That brought into there. That one will come out there like that. I need to hook up the one in the shortly. But let's see. Oh, we're missing the blueprint here. Oh, gears. There we go. Okay. That was for where I stamped the building down in the wrong place. A little bit of balancing that needs to be done there. Let's throw our 4x4 balancer in here. Won't go in there because of the belt. I still want to just stamp that down. Alright, we'll pull that out. Alright, there's the blueprint. We'll pull that out and shorten it. There we go. There. the underground belts and then all that we have to do is hook the rest of the belts up all right let's see rotate that in there put that put that perfect all right the four lane belt balancer is back although the lane one is not running down there and I see that, that made, that's an issue. I'll go back and fix that later. Now that we've got that hooked up, we've got iron needs to come over here. We've got steel and copper there. Stone bricks there. Iron here. Whoops, wrong spot. Rotate that, bring that across there, and that's going to be circuits. We've got a lot of things here that i got to bring in. The... Uh, the copper needs to come in there, but it's, I only need one half a belt of copper. So let's see here. There's where we want to split that out. Like that. And then, since I only want half a belt, probably the best thing to do is just run, again, run it directly into an underground belt. And over to the other side. Let's see. Bring that in right there. Rotate that around like that. 
and then drag that across. Okay, that's half the belt. I've still got to get the other half of the belt in there. This is going to be my iron. Ah, uh, that's not right. Move it one more. There we go. That'll be right there. And this is where my steel needs to be. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to run my steel in there. What I'm going to do about the steel. Uh, that's not exactly correct. Right. That's the iron. I can just run this. Hmm. Alright, we've got a ways to go to get better at this. If I do that, I'm going to have two lanes of copper, and I don't want but one lane of copper, so it's doing the correct thing right now. What I just need to do... Huh. Alright, pulling that out. Nope, don't want to do that. No, that will work like that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That is definitely not what I wanted. Ah, uh, that's also not what I want. Let's see. I'm going to hook it up into the plant over there. Right now I'm going to... Oh, what I could do... Is bring that across... From here over to here. That could be my iron. My steel, I mean. That would work. That would get the steel onto the lower belt. running right over here. There's the steel. This iron. I, I do need iron as well on this line. Or is it the line below it that I needed on? Okay, well, as you can see, once again, I'm struggling with the idea of belts and where to put them. Let's see. Let's get this across here. Okay. That is brought across. Yeah, there's I can bring that all the way across there. And that would be the iron that I need. That doesn't do anything for my steel. Huh. So I need steel on half of this belt. This before this. I'm going to bring the steel line on down, put that there. I need it on the lower half of the belt, not the upper half of the belt. Bring the steel across there. Alright, it's going to come on out down through there. Let's go back over here and see what I've got now with all the steel. Alright, that comes in there. It doesn't give me the iron that I need, but I could bring the iron in one lower and then just, just shift it up. This is a puzzle. There we go. Alright, that is the correct values of what I need on that belt. And then right here, I would bring the iron from right there. Okay, it's off by one, but there we go. That right there is the direction that I need to travel. And 
this is iron. Sure, I would use a. All right, that will bring iron in there. That solves that problem. All right, I need iron here as well. So yeah, that'll go from there. Leave right where I'm standing. Of course, it's running the wrong direction. Okay, I'll just flip it. Come back. A bit flip. Okay, and of course that splitter is to balance things. Is in the bad place. The balancer. I could just do this before the balancer. And actually, no, that splitter is in a good spot. And I look at it. I put that in there. I'll put that in there and there's two of those, so that's fine. Alright. Now we just need to rotate these things. There we go. There we go. Make sure the iron's flowing. It is. I can see it coming. Alright, and get those three. Rotate that, that, and that. Wonderful. Let's see. All right. That stretches across. It rotates out. And go face my belt. There we go. All right. Well, let's run that in there. Let's run that in there. We'll stop on the other side of the road. I still got other things I've got to bring in, but I've got the iron, the steel, the copper. I've got additional things that I need up here. Yeah, okay, I don't need these. Is that right? That is right. And I need that right there. Put that in there. Rotate that out. There we go. We've got iron going across there again. And let's balance this back a little bit right here afterwards. All right. And then let's let's put one in after that one as well. Just to help balance things back out a little bit. There we go. Yeah, we've got that one. And then let's see here. We've got the underground. We've got the thing, the bypass, the, the area there. The lane one. balancer the line three is not being used specifically we are using lanes one two and four so what am i doing here um that lane is coming in there this lane is coming out here makes sense to me oh. let's see I need that goes in there yeah that's the same. and then I need this right here I just need a, a bypass to come down there to there like that that comes across there and then gets balanced out okay it's not perfect but it'll work yeah, that's coming down. That's fine. Ah. Maybe not. Do I want to move this over? Looks like I do not. Okay. All right. Put that in there. We'll put this in here. Cut out with those for a little bit. Bring this down. I'm going to bring lane three here. Lane four. I'm going to jump that. All right. Go ahead and balance to it. Two into three. Okay. 
Well, at least give me some things going on down. It's, it's I can put a flame balancer in if I need to to balance everything back out. Need lots of flame balancers. All of this stuff appears to be running. Make sure everything is in fact working. It is. I have yellow belts being produced, but I'm going to increase that to a thousand. And then I have red belts being produced, and I've got that at a thousand. And that's fine. We'll produce a thousand of each of those. Okay, so the first part of this is up and running, but we don't have my circuits over there. We do need to bring the circuits across. And that would be this line right here. Let's see if it doesn't do anything. Oh, maybe so. It does. Hmm. All right, we'll connect this up. Making sure we've got the direction of travel correct. This is going to be... Uh, no. We'll start it right here. All right. We, let's see. We want to get the... Um, all right, so the greens are coming down. Is that one of the lanes? I'm trying to say I've only got one of them. All right, so that's what we want to do right there. Rotate this into here. I want to do it that way. There we go. And then extend this on down. All right, there we go. So we have green circuits being pulled off of the main bus. And I can see where my lane is a little better now. And I've made a mistake here. I only want it to be across half the bus. So I need to remove this. Yeah, put that there. I guess we use a red belt like that otherwise it won't let me go that far but the red one does very nicely yeah in this running in here with only the greens until we want to come back and build the items with reds it'll be a little while before we're ready for reds red circuits will require us doing some all processing out of the things oh we still got Oh, that's not going to go across. I'm going to need red one there. That will get across. There we go. And I still have two lanes there. Oh, I'm pulling the wrong one. There we go. Of course, I'm pulling plates there, too. That I don't really need to be pulling. There we go. Now we have a single lane. And we have circuit boards coming in. Wonderful. So the, the items down in these, the inserters, which will need the circuit boards, will start building. And then we can turn our attention down here to what we've got to do down here. Now we need the same setup. We need iron and circuit boards, and then we're going to need steel and copper. So a little bit different stuff down here. But we'll need to be able to hook all this stuff up. We might as well go ahead and start building out this factory. Go ahead and get this out over the way to here. There we go. We're going to need to bring this down and around the corner. There we go. The belts at the end. This is all the electronics plus the factories down here. But well, right here on the end, my boxes. I'm only making one kind of box. I'm only making steel boxes. Since I uh, really don't see any reason to make the smaller boxes once I have the capability of larger boxes. I, I, I don't see a reason to build the smaller ones. I've got a lot of them already. But I uh, once I can make the steel ones, I would pretty much prefer the bigger boxes. This is 
same would go for any kind of box. All right, this is a interesting mess that goes in there. Turn that around there. And, oops, there we go. There we go. Looks like all of the, well, almost all of the belts. I missed a section right here. Go. Let's see, coming back into there. Okay. And we will need to go ahead and we can jump the road right here. It's running backwards. Let's rotate that. And then we will need... We have rebalanced the lanes there, so we'll just pull that out right there. Turn that around and run that right over into there. And then let's hook it up. No reason not to. And we'll, re we'll rebalance after the... Uh, what's wrong on that side of things. Alright, there we've hooked it up. We've got iron coming across. And there's my iron that we need down here we need steel and copper copper is made to use wire and then steel is used to make a whole bunch of the other things that are in this base all right let's see we don't have very many underground belt things but i think we it's time to head back up to our base oh there's two radar things there let's take one of those out Two radars, very close, don't really see the point. Hmm. Let's see, alright, we're back over here where we've got supplies. And we can grab some more underground belts, we'll grab the rest of those. Let's see, we've got some more splitters, let's go ahead and grab some of those. Um just a few red splitters. I think I've got enough of those. I've got enough red splitters. All right. Don't really see anything else that I need. I've got some copper plates and other things. Wouldn't mind doing some cleanup. Let's see. Power poles. I've got a bunch of power poles, so I don't really think I need anything there. All right. I think we're good. But we'll back out of there. I think that gives us what we need. Woo! Ah! Ugh. I'm telling you. Oh, and I can't repair these from inside the vehicle. Oh, uh, let's just... If you hit it once, hit it again. That's bound to be helpful. Alright, we'll get out of the car and repair everything. Back in the car. Go around these things very carefully. Alright, there we go. Get on the road. Get straightened up on the road. Yeah, tell me about it. Not very good at that driving thing yet. All right. And we're back over here with the splitters now. But we can go down through here and put all these splitters in. Get off the belt. All right. That one is all we're putting in. Alright, here goes. Got all kind of underground belts that come down through here, different places. There's another underground belt. We'll bring that one in right there. There we go. And then starting from this end, I'm going to bring this one like this. Hmm. Alright. Now we've got this down here. We've got that factory. We'll start dropping in some factories. Hmm. We have no power, but we are stamping down all these things. Electronics. Maybe we'll get started making these items very soon. So we need, in order to make this first set of stuff, is I need the iron, the steel, and the copper. 
that'll be required. Let's go ahead and get our power poles in. We can go down through here. By doing it this way, I don't get messed up. I'm not standing on a belt, I'm just running forward and then dropping in the power poles. There we go. There we go. We have everything covered. We might as well go ahead and put the boxes down. And then for the steel boxes here, we might as well go ahead and put the go ahead and put these inserters in there. Alright. Oops. I don't think that's right. There we go. Rotate it around. Alright, and then for the boxes, there we go. Now that's gonna be an input. There we go. That is going to be an input as well. It's going to be input on that side. There we go. Go. All right. Let's see. Output there. Input there. That is an input. We input from there, output into there, that gets that one done. Rotating these things around to the correct orientation. Putting in lots of inserters. There we go, rotate that. Making sure things are done correctly. All right. Now we get the boxes. There we go. more storage containers all right there's all of that now we've still got oh there's another inserter or splitter i mean and then we need our inserters we've got an inserter there rotate that around that'll be an input that'll be an output and an input all right bring that in that's an output into the box. That's an input. Inputs, inputs, inputs. That is also an input. The red ones here. Get the pipes and put them into the other. Very good. Uh, we got an inserter up there that we missed. Alright. That. Bring in these in. Let's see. All right. No, that needs to be an input. Trying to make sure I orient these correctly. Okay, this is going to be the output onto those belts. Yes, the, yes, the um, wire has multiple outputters with the inputs okay with that being the case do I see anything else that I missed I don't think so so now we start hooking things up we'll connect that in there we'll connect that in there and let's move this over one for symmetry there we go so we got most of this done and we can start bringing this stuff in Start getting our resources in here. So we've got, um, hmm, we've got something here that isn't making. Why is it not making? We've got those. That's coming in here. What am I missing? Oh, well, that's working just, just fine. Okay. Uh, well, it's missing something. First time I've used these things, I'm trying to tell it don't make items if it's got too many of the uh, keep it some. Oh, there, there's the problem. It's it's a little bit more than a little bit simpler than what I was looking at. We're just gonna make the underground belts. We want to see the red underground belts being produced. And right, I got stuff coming across. Ah, there we go. We now have a red underground belt. Perfect. Alright, and that is 
the actual belt. And, ooh, <laughs> it made a bunch of those in a hurry. Okay, well, very good. We'll take some of the red underground belts. There's not many of them, but that we need a few. Because we've got to jump this road right here. And we need to bring it from this side over to here so that it's running the correct direction. And we need to go over here and get belts. Uh, no, I'm going to have to do a red one here as well. Uh, let's start on this side and bring it across like that. And then I can just belt it right across through there. All right now, I only need it on the top. I don't need both lines. I just need half a belt. Half a belt. We need half a belt. Of course, this is not the way you want to do this. Now that I think about that, start dragging that across there. And I'm like, yeah, no, that's not right. Take the belt back out. That was just... Okay, that was... A dumb component okay there we go that brings that across and we'll just hop down here and bring them four to time then we get down here to where our circuit boards are and that's wrong right oh it rotates around once you click it there we go well this this is the fastest way, but that right there is where I need to be. And let's see. All right, we'll bring the circuits down here. This is where we want to bring it in at. Uh, I don't know. I only need half a belt, so if I bring it right there and just run it into there, but no, that's not going to do it. I need to I need to put a splitter and do it one over, otherwise I block the whole lane. There we go. Now then, that being the case, you like that, and just bring it right over to there. Click that in there. There we go. That's half a belt. It's perfect. And just run that on to the south. Very good. Along with that, I'm also going to need coppers. Copper's not coming down, so I'll need to bring the copper down. Got iron coming there. I'm going to need red belts. I need circuits on the other side there. Let's bring the copper down. Copper plates. And we are running that off, so we'll do that right there. Bring that on down. There we go. Not the most efficient way of doing things, but okay. Got to run it all the way to the bottom of this section anyway. There we go. Um, that's my circuit boards coming across. Now I need. Okay, this is. I need half a belt of copper and half a belt of steel there we go need to bring that stuff in i've got the plant ready to go for the most part it's this line right here that i need well yep and i'm gonna need copper Not sure. Let's make sure we got the alignment correct. Let's bring the belts on down. And that is correct. Nice. And only need half the belt. Let's see. Run it on down through there. And then let's get the rest of this up through here. Alright, we just bring that on down. Very good. And then what I want to do is. Yeah, but I only need, only need half the belt. Oh, that's still full belt. Okay, that's the line that I want. But 
All right, bringing it across. All right, and I can't just hook it up there. full belt. Alright, I'm picking this back up. I only need... Yeah, let's use the red one, because I need to go five. I want to go out to there. Right there. Let's see. All right, there we go. Now then, I bring the red over. That's yellow's not enough. We gotta bring that over. That'll work. Now that's a half a belt. Okay. So we redo that. There would have been better ways of doing that, but hey. All of that's coming in there, and that should be one half belt of copper plates. Exactly what I need there. Um, oops. I changed the blueprint there. Let's see. Get my keystrokes correct. Change my blueprint. There we go. Grab this. All right, there we go. All right, so there. Very good. It's going to be spitting out different things now. We need steel. Let's see. Manufacturing here. Oh, those things in there. Yep, way too much stuff in my inventory. Alright, we'll put half of those things in there. All these things require circuits as well. I don't really need large volumes of those. That doesn't require circuits. Okay, that'll be good. We'll go with that. Let's see. What's next? Steel. We need steel. Let's go get our steel. And we'll come up here. Connect this in and draw this down. So, bringing it down here. There we go. And then I'm going to need steel to come in there. I could just split it off and then turn it up in there. Yeah, that's... Might not be... Elegant, but it will work. So I can put a splitter not right there. Let's see. You gotta fill in the other side of the belt. So right let's see, right here. And then just turn the belt around like that. And there we go. Now we've got steel on the other side of the belt. It works. And then the steel continues on to the south. If you're not taking too much stuff, you're doing great. Alright, that would be all on the same line. You're getting everything lined up here. I don't know why that matters to me, but it does. Let's go ahead and bring the circuits down. Same place. There we go. Extend the bus down through here. I don't have my coal, coal and stone coming down, but we've got all the rest of it. Now, I've got everything I need to turn this on. Let's see. We need more belts. We are starting to run low on belts. There's a thousand more belts. That should be more than enough for a while. Let's put some of them back. <laughs> there we go. Uh, limited inventory space. All right. And then first thing we do is bring these 
built on down here. All right, there we go. We've got the iron coming on down. We've got everything flowing on down to the lower ends where we we're putting it. So at this point in time, we can hook up these belts and see that it works. There we go. We'll bring this in here. Everything's flowing. Let's make sure that we're producing things. Now that may not produce anything because it's full until other things start producing. But it'll it'll kick off in here in a minute, I would think. As the other items begin to fill up and make. It should be making power poles now. I do see a lot of things running. Power poles is not running yet. I'm missing something on the power poles. We'll come back to that in a second. Alright, this right here is not making yet. What are we missing? Oh, we are. It is running. Okay. It's running. We've got some things here that aren't making. It needs circuit breakers. Oh, there's just no circuit breakers getting down here yet. Because uh, the other the items further up are grabbing all of them. It'll quit grabbing them all here shortly. And that'll filter on down. Those are making just one stack. We're not making a huge number of those. Those are fine. All right. We could drop some circuits in here and watch it go to working. All right. And things are starting to get through now. There we go. We'll just make sure that everything is making. Yes, I don't have any factories being built. What am I missing? Missing steel. Oh, wait a minute. That would be because I'm not making any of those. There we go. There's the first factory. Now is the second factory going to start making? Not yet. What am I missing here? Oh. The inserter is backwards. Rotate that around. And that begins to work the way it's supposed to. And we have those being built. Okay. All of that is being built. All of this stuff up here. Whoa, we've got something here that's not being built. Oh, yeah. That's because those don't have the red circuits that they need. All of this stuff is being built. All right. We're doing good. So we have made it this far. We have two of our sections of our factory back up. And we've got a third section over here now to get running and to get working as well. Uh, we've got some of the items over, brought over here, but not everything. But this is another entire component. I need stone bricks, which are not even in my on my bus line. Um, I do have stone and... Maybe I do have stone bricks up there. I see coal. Let's see. That goes to here. And that does look like stone bricks right there. Let's put a splitter in right here. Yep. I can't figure out what I want to do here. Now that's reversed. Let's reverse all of these. There we go. And then we want to bring this, rotate it, and bring it right over there, like that. Then we need to run this down. That, and there's my stone bricks. Alright, I still need coal and other things to come down, and I'll have to jump the stone bricks with that line. This line can just come straight down. And the stone... I need the stone right now. So. Yeah, we're doing okay on that. That comes across there. That comes there. There's my stone bricks. And then in this other lane up here is where I just need regular stone. For now. Let's 
let's see. There's that. Now why is that in here? This is here for. Huh. Oh, that's my circuits going across the other way. And I can bring them to there. This is not going to work. I have interspersed my belts. I've got my circuits going out the other side on this line. Now I need to bring stone in on this line. And it uh, doesn't matter how I do this. This is not going to work the way I need it to. So I am going to have to re-clean this. To do exactly what I need to do with the blue inserters. But I don't have those. So we gotta figure out what we can do with what we do have. All right, let's figure this out here. I need regular stone going out the other way. I could move it up a line and just do it on a higher line. I'm trying to figure out how to weave the belts, do what I need. If I use yellow going one way and red going the other, the uh, I would be able to get what I need in there. But I am problem is is I'm I need to jump four and that doesn't work. Uh, that that needs to go to there. The stone coming down here is fine with where it's in there. Uh let's see. Turn this around here. Let's see. No, that's not connected. Let's see, okay. That is connected. And now those two are not. Oh, that is. Don't have the belts in the middle. come all the way to there interesting thing and then it'll come all the way will it come all the way to there but see I would have to connect it I have to move it back one like that and that can go there now that's still less flowing but that would come there rotate that around then I can bring that to there. Huh. Did I figure this out? That looks like that works. Oh. That is so messy. You don't even want to know how messy that is. Okay. That comes out there. That comes in there and jumps there. Now my stone is on a different line than it was. I don't guess that really matters. Do I have stone going across the way I want it to? I do have half a belt of stone going down through there. And this is just my stone line now. Okay. Boy, that's ugly. I can clean that up later. There's ways I could do that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this. I don't like the stone changing lanes there. Okay.
Let us see. We're still messing with this in this theory here. This is... That was interwoven, but now I've got the red item there where I really, in my lane, what I want to preserve. I would really like to move the red back one, but then that means the other one doesn't go in. All right. Let's see. Yes. Of course, I'm blocking all this other lane over here while I'm doing all of this. This is not ideal. And what you guys are seeing is my... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a new player. I do not know what I'm doing, so this is the painful process of trying to figure out how to run things. I'm sure all of you are watching... Some of you are watching this saying, Oh, God. Oh, it's so easy. You're making it so hard. There's no reason. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> You're just flat and not wrong. The um, all right. That's um, okay. Now we could move this down one. Or I could just give up and run the 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 stone on the on a one line higher and then and then bring it in. It would certainly be working that way. All right, that belt is going across there. Let's see here. Still seeing if I can rotate these things around. Yeah, those two are not correct. They are blocking. They're they're. Wrong. That one's correct. That one is not. That one's the wrong way. If I try rotating it, it just... Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Okay, now I can... I still can't rotate it. Take that one out. I'm still not getting the connection there. Alright, I need that one to connect. There we go. So now that one is in there. Now, I can put that one in right there connect it to here like that okay that one's going through that one's going through everything's flowing through now I can just turn that here and turn it down into there and now I've got stone coming down through here the way I want it to be coming down through here okay other than that being extremely painful to watch we did wind, wind up with what we wanted, which was half a belt of stone. Um, it'd have done that so much easier without the... I, I could do that completely without weaving any of those belts, and it would be perfectly fine. Um, I'm going to rebalance this line here a little bit, just in case it... Nope. Bringing it across. Yeah, there we go. All right. Take that out. Run this in. That needs to be half a belt. Okay, let's do this right here. No. Let's get this. There we go. Run it that way. There we go. Alright, that'll be half a belt. And I'll just need to get off the ones that the, the extras that are in there. That will be fine. Pull that belt across. So now that we've got the... There we go. Half a line. We're good. And we've got all the things up here that we need. Um, we don't need the iron right now. So now we can actually build out this little section right down through here. We'll go down through here and put our splitters in. This shouldn't take long to build. This portion of it uh, has already been reasoned out. The uh, Whereas having to think through the uh, splitters. I'm going to get better at the uh, the lines of, of splitting things and running my bus lines. The uh, Not there yet, but I will get there. I will get a lot better. All right. 
Now we come down through here and build in all of the factories. Player is in the way. Get out of the way. There we go. We've got a factory here where we don't have anything in it. We'll uh, we'll come back to what that was supposed to be. There was there was supposed to be something in that factory. I don't know what it was. Without going back to my notes and seeing what I what I put in there incorrectly. I am certainly missing something that I wanted. I'm being, trying to be careful this time with my clicks. Make sure that I'm in the right place before I click. So I don't mess things up. There we go. That gets those in. Now we come through here and we'll just do the... Oh, there's a splitter that I missed. Let's go ahead and get that in there. Go back to the boxes. All the different little components that we're outputting into boxes for storage. Uh, let's see. There's two more boxes. There's another box. There's a box. Got one up way up there. Got one down here. Some in the middle. We've got some down here. Even one way up here. What is that? This pipes. Okay. Very good. Now we got belts and inserters, and we will have everything done. And we do have some more belts here. We got lots of belts. Inserters, I seem to be running low on. No, I've got lots of inserters. Good on those. Back across here and see what's going on here and just check this out. All right. All of that's building. Underground belts. I'll go ahead and grab. Let's go ahead and grab a bunch of those. And some more of the red underground belts. We've got plenty of just regular belts. Alright. Back across. But what is that there for? It is not needed for anything. Okay. So we take it out. Let's get back to doing what we were doing here, of getting this plant up and running. We've got a number of things that we've got to do here. Uh, well, let's go ahead and grab our, our... Oops. Okay. That's fine. Everything's good there. Just making sure I didn't make a mistake there with bringing it one too far. Now, when these are already ghosted down like this, they go in very nicely. All right. Those are in there. We still have some more of these to put in down here. We've got several other places where we've got to put them. Let's get all of these in. That's all of them there. There's one here that goes across this belt. Then there's some up here on the top side. Oh. There's one right there, too. There we go. That. We're jumping all kind of things here, aren't we? Underground belts all over the place. With that in place, we'll do our power poles. We'll do the run, the run down through here and put them in dragging north to south instead of Trying to drag east to west and running across the belts. Of course, right now I don't have the belts in there, so I would be able to do this. Uh, somewhere there I put an extra pole in that didn't belong. Take that back out, clean that up, make it nice and neat. There we go. I also think I may have taken an inserter out there, unfortunately, with that direct... Yeah, I did. The inserter that goes into the box up there. Okay. I have no idea what's supposed to be made there, so... We'll come back to that, I guess, at some point in time. Once I can figure out what it is that needs to be there. But right now, it doesn't really matter. Let's see. Uh, looking at it. I don't know. We've got the oil refinery and the oil things in there. Those don't seem to be there. I've got the oil pumps. I've got pipes and things. I'm not making trains. Uh, that's all on the other side. So I have 
Off the top of my head, I don't know what I was intending to make there. We will come back to that at some point in time and manufacture something there. Once I can figure out what it is. All right, let's continue on. I'm still sitting here trying to figure this out. It, it's, it's bothering me that there's something that's supposed to be there and I don't know what it was. There's a splitter that I missed. All right. Let's go back to the power poles and what I was doing with the power poles. There we go. Too far away. Grab that. All right. Grab this one. Grab that one. All right. So all the power poles are in. So now I've got the... Let's do the inserters. Rotate these things around. Get them to get the orientation correct. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. I'm doing all the reds. There's that. There's that. We got this one down here things off up there. We've got a couple of more red ones up here. Grabbing things off the bus. For us. Oh. That's good. Let's uh, get the power in here. Let's see. Can I line this up? Will it work if I line it up? Yes, it will. That's a little neater looking. Now, let's do inserters. And those go in here, those go in here. That goes there and there. And then we come down here with the pipes. We're going to put pipes there. Output pipes there. That goes in there. And then these go. We've got a bunch of things here. Oh, that still goes that way. Oh. Oops. I'm out of blue inserters. So I did say we'd be using a bunch of blue inserters. We use a lot of everything. I left my car over here and ran all the way back across. So the slow way of doing things. So let's grab, let's grab another hundred inserter blue inserters. We seem to be good on other inserters. We seem to be good on others. Let's take the car back across a bit faster, weaving around like a drunken sailor. There we go. Now then, back into this section right here, where I was doing things. I've got these little inserters right here that I was doing. Those are inputs. There we go. All of that's coming in. Now, that takes care of the blue inserters. Now, the rest of this stuff is yellow inserters. That is in there. That is in there. Rotate that around and that. And do that one. That's got all of those. Now this one rotates around here. Now there's more things that it needs. It needs steel and, oh, well, where is the steel coming in? It's coming in there. So that's the thing that I messed up. It's on this line that comes down. That steel comes into there, drops down, comes down to there. Steel is on that line. I just need to put that right there, or right there. There we go. That'll work. Connect that. Let's see, we'll connect this. And this, that, that, and that. And that's an input. There we go, there we go. Let's see. That is an input. This is that and that one. Okay. They're blue inserters. So the engines goes out 
three different directions, so it'll make engines, but it's certainly not going to be fast about it. Let's see. Let's rotate this around. That comes in there. That comes in there. That comes in there. That goes into that box. That goes as an input. That goes into the box. There we go. What else have we got up here? We got this. We got this one. That one. Let's see. That needs an input. That's an output. It's hard to see all these things. There we go. And then we need that. And that would be an output. And this needs the blue ones. All right. Well, other than belts, I think we've about got everything. I'm just checking one last time to see if I'm missing. I see any ghost items. I do see one here. That's a ghost. There's a ghost right there. All right. I see another. Maybe. Nope. That's good. These up here look good. Okay. Let's start running some belts. This will be the test. We'll find out real quick if we have things working. If they're not picking stuff up, then they're not working correctly. Let's see here. We need that. And that's going to go all the way through to the end. This is going to come right down through here. And yeah, we can. We can just run right over the inserters and it doesn't have any effect. Okay. There we go. There we go. And what we'll do is turn that around right there and bring the iron in on this side. And it starts picking up things and stuffing them in there. Let's rotate this down and bring that over here. That'll get more gears going and some pipes when things make it all the way down. Bringing this down. Bringing, we gotta rotate this around and bring this up. Bring this up. That's good there. I don't know what I'm supposed to be making there, but that's a, uh, that's, that is a different story. We'll come back to that. Very good. That comes down. Now let's bring the iron on across. Like that. That's probably my steel right there. Given what's being made there, I would expect that to be steel. There we go as I rotate, over rotate everything. And we drag these lines down through here. Let's get all this stuff running. We've just about got this section of our base build recomplete. There's my iron and copper coming down through here. There's my stone bricks. And there's just the regular stone. So a lot of things coming in here. We want to make sure everything is running. And then this is going to be the end of this episode. We do have an extra block here in the middle that we will use to build a flame turret. I do know what's going in there. Uh, but we've also got some other something else that we'll end up making here. That's We've got a building here for something. I just don't remember what it was for. I didn't. I messed up the blueprint. Every single spot is going to be making something. There are no gaps when I'm done. So that's what's in there. Um, wait a minute. Why is that inserter putting stone bricks up there?
Okay, yeah, that's that was incorrect. I guess I need a... There was a problem with that. That needs to jump over that. It's there to get the stone in there for the uh, burner. But that's the only thing I want on there. I don't want stone bricks on the other one. Okay. Well, there we go. So I guess we need to go... Probably because it had something stuck in there it shouldn't have. There we go. You just delete it and recreate it, and now it's not got anything in there that's not supposed to be there. So let's go down here. And we'll just take out the stone blocks. This is the hard way of doing it, but it is effective. Almost got it. There wasn't a whole lot in here. That's, there we go. That's what we want to see. So there are a couple of more here items in here. We'll just get in here and pick these things up. There we go. And then I've got one item here that shouldn't be there. All right, there we go. Everything is nice and clean. Back to what it's supposed to be. All right, the gears appear to be making. The pipes appear to be making. These gears are kind of stuck. Let's go there. They're, they're, they have filled up. And so it's running gears and pipes down through here. Oh, now that's not making. That's because I don't have any of these yet. Huh. What's not happening here? Oh, there we go. There's the problem. I had a ghost. And we don't have any train engines being built. What are we missing? We're missing engines. Now that could just simply be the fact that... Nope, I'm missing steel. I am missing an inserter. That probably needs to be a fast one. There we go. Okay, it is building. That, that building is running now. Building next door with the pumps is not running, but that's probably because I don't have engines. But once I start making these, it'll take a while to fill these up. I don't use a large number of these things. I use more pumps than I use anything else, but the they trains and stuff like that don't get used a whole lot. So, I have no idea what's supposed to be in that building. Something that requires a pump, I realize that. But what it is, I don't know. Let's wrap this up here. There's a little bit more debugging and things that I need to do. Just to make sure that everything's running the way it's supposed to. Yeah, that one just needs more engines. Once they're there, it will be doing its thing. Now this... Oh, there we go. There's pumps now. That was in there. It's already got an engine, it just needs another one. Everything's good on that blueprint. And it'll come out. All right, this one is working. Let's see what I've got here. I've got those being built, those being built. All that stuff's coming out. Now, I do see that everything everything's going good there. Okay. And we need lots of in, uh, train tracks, so we got to do a lot of those. Very good. see the train signals and that now those the that car is not being built and I don't have any of those cars so why is that not getting built what is it missing it's missing gears that is because it is missing an inserter let's see if that fixes the problem okay it's putting those things in there And that's missing storage tanks. Storage tanks are missing iron plates. Iron plates? I don't see any iron plates. Well, that will be something that I will need to fix and come back to. 
whatever the issue is there in my design we will come back to it let's see what it needs iron and steel oh there's the problem that needs to be reversed okay got it now that is bringing in iron uh, that there was a splitter there that was coming down through here it was in there Ooh, it needs a lot of iron plates it's not going to be making them fast let's see this should go into here now once it does it gets just picked up and passed over and then this down on the bottom is then putting it into the plate the train fluid station with that i have i believe everything is working except for this one here which we don't know what it is i'm gonna call it right here That's all for today's video. I want to thank you for watching. Please leave comments down below and a like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what I did wrong and what I can do better. Thanks for watching.